There is a trend quietly sweeping social media that's helping small businesses like yours stand out. You might have noticed that a lot of people use the same fonts, whether it's free fonts in Canva or fonts in CapCut. When it comes to social media, there's a lot of repetition when it comes to font usage. And if you want to stand out and make your brand recognizable, having a unique font can make a huge difference. Now, if you don't have a big budget to be buying a font that is quite rare or something that you haven't seen very often, but you still want to really stand out with a unique font, you can actually create your own font. And no, this isn't complicated. It isn't expensive. In fact, you can do it completely for free and you can base it off your own unique your own handwriting because you may have also noticed that handwriting style of fonts are really popular at the moment because people want things that feel a little bit more human and real and hand created especially with a lot of use of AI where you're seeing like AI videos and AI graphics when we see things that are you know really hand created it feels more genuine and we feel a bit more of a connection to the creator and so being able to create your own font from your own handwriting is actually that perfect mix of being able to put your personality into something something and also stand out with a unique font. Now, I know you're probably thinking, surely this cannot be for free. Creating fonts requires paid apps and knowing how to use fancy software and things like that. But it's actually far more easy than you think. So let's take a look at how to do it. So we're going to create this font in Calligrapher. Now, there are two different ways we can go about this, depending on what you have available. Now, if you have an iPad and an Apple pen, you're going to be able to actually do it on your iPad. You'll be able to download download the special PDF that they have that helps all the letters and you'll be able to just open that PDF on any PDF reader that you have on your iPad that allows you to draw. So this could be things like GoodNotes, Notability, Procreate, even Canva. So any of those tools, you can open it up and you can then draw your handwriting. The other option, if you don't have an iPad and an Apple Pen, you could, if you wanted to, do it on your computer using Canva. So you just need to import the PDF and then use that pen tool to write. But writing with a mouse can be a little bit tricky. So the second option I would actually recommend is printing it off. So you want to download that PDF, print it off. Now, if you don't have a printer, it would be very cheap to print, probably just like 10 cents to go print it down at the library or something like that. And then you're just simply going to write on top of it. You're going to use your own handwriting, write on top. And no, you don't need a scanner. All you have to do then is go and grab your phone. So I'm going to show you how you do that. Then I can show you how the magic happens in Calligrapher. So in Calligrapher, you want to sign up for an account and then you're going to come to this page. So as it says here, your first steps, create a template and print it out. So you've got that option of printing it or you can download that PDF over to your iPad to write on your iPad. Then you're going to fill it out. Then you've got that option to scan, use a digital camera or smartphone to capture the filled out template. Then we're going to head over to the fonts page. So the first thing you want to do is click this, create a template. So you're going to choose minimal English. Now with a free one, you can only have up to 75 glyphs. So you, if you add extra things here, so what I've done is I've added the minimal English, I've added numbers and punctuation. It's got it up to 78 here. So what you can do is remove any that you probably won't use. So I probably won't use that one. I can get rid of that. I can just remove a few so we get it down to that correct number. All right, so now I've got it down to 75. As you can see here, I've got my capital letters, lowercase letters, a few punctuation marks and numbers. So now what we can do is download the template. So we're going to go to download and you can download it as a PDF. And you've got here draw help plans. That's really helpful if you want a bit of a, a guide. I find that very helpful. And also characters as background because that really helps guide you if you're feeling a little bit unsure, especially if you're not an illustrator or if you're not someone who's very good at things like this. Having that as a guide can be very, very helpful. So this one is two pages because of the extra glyphs that we chose on this. If you just went with the bare, bare basics of just capital letters and lowercase, it will be just one page. But for this, we've got two pages. So now this is where you can part ways and decide which option you're going to take. So if you want to print this, you can obviously go up here to print and print it out. And then we can start just drawing on top of it by hand. 
But if you want to digitally create this, you then want to send this file to your iPad. So the way I usually do this is just through airdropping or you could use Calligrapher on your iPad so you can just directly download it that way. So then you want to open up in your preferred program. So this can be any kind of PDF thing where you can do writing. So you could use something like GoodNotes and you just want to start drawing over the top and putting in your own handwriting. Now this can be very basic, just single line handwriting or if you wanted to, you could go more detailed. You could start making really fun letters that have more detail to them, but still have that hand-drawn feel. It's completely up to you how you want to make your letters look. And of course, if you've decided to print this, I would probably go with a nice black pen and just go in and start writing out your letters. And if you want to, you could always print a few copies if you want to try out a few different things or just test on a blank piece of paper first to try and think of what style of handwriting you want to create before you start drawing on the template. So our next step, once we've finished it, is to bring it back into Calligrapha. So if you have hand on this, you want to scan it. But it didn't give you the option just to take a digital photo, so you can just take a photo on your phone. Another way I like to do a digital scan on my phone is to go into the Notes app and then choose Scan Document, and that's actually gonna scan it. And I find that's a little bit better quality than just taking a photo. So you want to get a scanned copy of it, and then we can take it into Calligrapha. Now, if you have done this on your iPad, you just want to download that PDF and we're going to bring it into Calligrapha now. So back in Calligrapha we're now going to choose my fonts and we're going to choose new font. You want to give your font a name. Now you do have the options to alter things like letter spacing, font size and word spacing if that's something you want to do. And then it's going to give you this preview so you can see how it all looks. Now if there's any that don't look right you can always just delete them. So if something doesn't feel like something you want to keep in it you can remove them and then you can press then you can press add characters to your. Now, if you click on these three dots here, you can go to adjust baseline. There is some things here where you can make little adjustments if you needed to, if there's anything about the font that needs a bit of adjustment, like moving the baseline a bit. So maybe that you feel like that's a bit down, needs to go up a bit. You know, in comparison to the other letters, you can go and make those little adjustments if you need. Right, so you're ready to start using your font. What you need to do now is click on build font. You want to give your font a name. So if you gave it one earlier, it will be here. But if you've changed your mind about the name you want to get of it, you've got a chance to change the name. Then you want to click build and it's going to give you the font file here. So you can see how that looks. You can have a little look at the preview and we can click on the downloads. You can choose a TTF or OTF or you can download both. Now coming into Canva, say we're working on a design here and we want to use our new font. So we're going to go over to text and you want to click on this upload font. Now this is a pro feature being able to bring in your own font. So you'll need Canva Pro for that, but you'll be able to use this font on any software on your computer. So if you aren't using Canva, if you're using something else, you can also use it anywhere. So we're going to go and we're going to select our font. So if you want to use it for anything else, you just want to go and install the font just like you would any other font that you download. So it's in your downloads now. All right, so now I'm going to click on my new font. And there we go. That is how it looks. As you can see, I didn't have the ampersand in my font, so I won't be able to use that. So there you go. There is my new font in use. Now, this can be so fun, especially for things like social media, adding your own personality to things with your own handwriting or just with some sort of hand created font that is really unique because no one else will have what you've created. So have fun creating your own font. This is such a fun thing to do and to create a great way to stand out and add your own personality to your designs. If you'd like to learn more typography techniques, you can also check out this Canva typography tutorial video. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to learn more about branding, graphic design, creativity, and using Canva. So happy creating and see you next time.